Hey guys, it's Tim coming at you with a Transformers related video for this week. The trailer for the new Transformers prequel film, Bumblebee, just dropped this week and gave us our first look at the iconic Autobot that the film is named for. It looks like this film will see Bumblebee going up against the Decepticon second in command, Starscream. And the interesting thing to note here is that the two of them are sporting new looks that resemble their G1 counterparts more. Boa brings the two of them to Earth in 1987, and why do they look so different from how they will in 2007? Well, for Bumblebee it's pretty obvious, he was sent to Earth as an advanced scout for the Autobots in order to find the Allspark after it was sent into space, and Megatron had already gone after it. According to Transformers Beginning, Bumblebee took on local camouflage to start his search for the Allspark, but pretty much immediately gains the attention of Sector 7 and the Decepticons who had also found their way to Earth. So likely that'll be shown here. As for his change in look, that comes down to the form that he took. The Volkswagen Beetle is stouter and rounder than the Camaro, so because of that he'd naturally be smaller and more rounded looking when he takes that form. The more interesting of the two here is Starscream, not only because his change is more radical, but also because he has conflicting history when it comes to how he came to Earth. In the Prime Directive prequel comic, he arrived in 2003 and it was him that destroyed the Mars rover. Obviously, since he's there in 1987, that clearly isn't the case. His other origin fits more in line with his appearance here. In the Sector 7 game that was used as a promotion for the first movie, Starscream was active as early as 1982. In this game, he actually had his iconic colors like he does in this film, but because of that, Sector 7 noticed a pattern of an F-15 Eagle with the same color scheme being spotted on several continents, which led to them seeing him transform in California. Due to this, he likely ditched his colors in order to blend in better, which is also likely why he switched to an F-22 Raptor later as well. This does actually go far and away to explaining why all the Decepticons are grey in the early movies as opposed to having unique colors. It helps them hide better if they have no identifying marks. But what do you guys think? Does this make sense? And are you happy with the changes in Starscream and Bumblebee's appearance for this movie? Well, as always, let us know down in the comments, but until next time, this has been Tim from the Hybrid Network, signing out. Hey guys, thanks for watching, but if you want to take your support to the next level, consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can be immediately informed whenever a new video goes up. Also, check out our website for the latest news and editorials, and if you want to take your support even further, you can always consider donating to us on Patreon to help our videos get better.